Oh, you've heard me say this before. Portugal uh, will remain golden. Visa or no visa, it's still golden. NHR, yes. NHR. <laughs> NHR, listen, you want to, people are coming here to move. Yes, taxes is definitely a benefit. And I think um, Portugal is not going to shoot themselves in the foot. Some uh, uh, some changes will need to be made. Do you remember when in 2009, when the NHR program started, it was 0% tax Okay, for 10 years. Now, mm -hmm. for since 2019, um, which for 10 years, uh, to, since 2019 up until now, it's a 10% tax break, right? So maybe there's going to be some uh, taxes uh, to be looked at. The NHR will not go away, some part of it, only because Portugal is trying to bring back the diaspora, okay, the Portuguese. So it's not yes. just for foreigners. It's not just for foreigners, Carl. People have the idea of foreigners. No, we, Portugal, in order to remain competitive, will have to have uh, the the right people, okay? The medical doctors, the teachers, the nurses, this, that, that are essential to the growth of the economy and Portugal. So Portugal yeah. will not do that. What I think they're going to make some changes, they will be for foreigners uh, or anybody that wants to live here because it's still going to be attractive. But guess what, guys? Isn't it, um, if, if you still have the lower cost of living, okay? If you have the safety, safety uh, if you have the services the healthcare, uh, how expensive it is in the u.s or even in the united kingdom or other countries for people to have uh, even if they have private health care i'm not even talking about the social the free service i'm talking about private health care where people could still be affordable okay and that's what it is portugal will still be affordable tax or no tax nhr no visa it's still golden it's still going to be it's not going to stop uh, because portugal is one of those places that people are discovering so for the next few years i we still have we're a country of about 10 and a half million people i think probably another two or three million uh, to, uh, uh foreigners should be coming to portugal in the next uh, 10 years so look at it like another one million a year there's plenty of room Go to the interior parts of Portugal. People that know that are in Trajvons, in the Minho. You know what? Maybe the Algarve is saturated. Maybe Liz and Porto, but there's so many. If you ever go to Guarda, Viseu, beautiful places to live. Uh, well said. Well said. You know, you go to Amarante, beautiful places to renovate, to live comfortably. There are hospitals, there's schools, uh, there's safety. People would say there's even a better quality of life living in the interior parts of Portugal. I would agree with them, Tony. I would agree with them. And there is there is all of that capacity. And it's a it's a wonderful possibility, potential, isn't it? That, you, you know, arguably some of these parts of the country are a little neglected. You know, this is a this is a global phenomenon, isn't it? People moving away from the interior, moving away from rural areas into the marginal and the cities, the big cities. We've got 60%, I think, of our population living along the coast and in the principal towns. And all that capacity and all of that beautiful, older-fashioned way of life, um, which authentic, now... Authentic, authentic, authentic. That's right. And, and it's got, you know, we've got fiber. We've got internet connections over there. People are working from home more. We are poised. Not many people talk about this. We're poised on an, an interior regeneration if it's done right, if it has the right sort of subsidy and the right sort of attention. And clearly, you're giving it the right sort of attention by holding up this, this promise and this potential of, of all of that capacity that's still there. So, yes, as Jim says, come on in. The water is fine. We're not talking literally, Antonio. We're not talking about having a dip in the, in the uh, bay here at San Martino de Porto. I nearly did that at the weekend. Um, but the water, metaphorically, is fine, is it not, Tony, here in Portugal? The water is great. Uh, you don't need... I can go to my tap water... Um, I've never gotten sick of 22 years. <laughs> oh, here, running really. water, yeah. And we have running water and safe tap yeah. water. Tony, yeah. Yeah, I probably got more sick on drinking wine or, or Judy <laughs> than probably water. <laughs> I'm sure that's true. Maybe not the fire water, but in case if it's a little if it's a little too cold, you always got the fire water to warm you up. Absolutely. All right. Have a great day. Thank you for being here. Always great fun talking to you. Great fun and informative talking to you. Lovely big round of applause. Take care. Bye for now. Ciao, ciao. Tony Ty.